Thank you very much. Every day, I get calls from constituents who are hurting. People like Molly Lewis, an 86-year-old living in Coney Island, who can barely afford her rent, food, and clothing expenses, and who would be forced into a nursing home at government expense if it were not for the home care aide who helps her shop, takes her to a senior center for a nutritious meal, and helps her choose the correct insurance for her Medicare Part D drugs, drug costs. The same home health care aid paid for by community development block grants that the Republicans want to destroy with budget cuts. But we're told we have to eviscerate these programs that people depend on. We have to destroy these programs because after all the country is broke and we simply must cut. We must savagely cut the budget because the country's broke. But the country is not broke. The country is not broke. We're just not taxing the millionaires, the billionaires, and the large corporations. We're not taxing them the way we used to. Today, corporations pay less than 1% of GDP in taxes. In 1950, they paid 6%. Our current deficits were created entirely by the Bush tax cuts, two unfunded wars, yes. and the current recession. If we worried about unemployment, and we got unemployment down to 5%, to 7%, to 5%, the same as it was in 2007, that by itself would cut the deficit in half. But instead of trying to create jobs, the Republicans have created a completely artificial crisis around the debt ceiling increase. They are blackmailing the country holding the entire economy hostage, saying in effect, we will wreck the economy by forcing the federal government to default on its debts unless you agree to our program of destroying Medicare and Social Security and food stamps and unemployment insurance and all the things that Americans depend on and that Republicans have always wanted to destroy. We must stand up to this blackmail. We must worry about creating jobs, not corpses of social programs. We must not pay, make middle and working class people pay the price of the Republican tax cuts and the Republican blackmail. We should raise the debt ceiling without any budget cuts. If the, Republicans, if the Republicans in Congress won't permit that, then the President should use his authority under the 14th Amendment to do it by himself. And then, and then, and then we can get back to what we should really be worrying about, creating jobs and economic opportunity for our people. Thank you.